Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we are exploring Wilverley enclosure in the new forest. Okay, good morning. So we are Hello. in the camper van. It is ten past eleven and we are just off to a Wilverley enclosure in the new forest never been there before had not even heard about it till the other day when Richard suggested that we go there so this is Bewley Bewley High Street very nice cup of coffee there from Pallets and the closest main road is the A35 and from there it is a short drive to the Wilverley enclosure car park if you enter via the Wilverley enclosure sign, then this part of the car park is quite close to the start of the trail. The car park was signposted and the sat nav took us straight there. Be careful of potholes in the track though. There was parking for about 25 cars. You can also enter via the Wilverley Plain car park and it's easy to walk to the trailhead from here. And the one great thing about this particular walk is that there are toilets just next to the car park and I promise you I did find the gents. I think Richard has gone into the ladies. I'm sure he went that side and that side it's immense. Let's see which way he comes out. They were okay. They were um, basic, but better than going behind a tree. And I did go in the gents, not the ladies. So the walk, honey, 3.3 miles. Good. Ready for it? Yeah, I can do that, no problem. Easy, easy peasy. So you just look out for this information sign and the gate to the start of the walk is just to the left of it. And once through the gate, the path or the trail is nice and wide and it mainly consists of hard compact gravel, easy to walk and also pretty good for bikes. Here is a map of the actual trail courtesy of alltrails.com. The whole walk is about three and a half miles which includes the red and blue sections. The blue section is an optional part of the walk if you like and this section is not quite as easy to walk as the ground is softer and particularly in bad weather I could imagine it would get a little bit muddy. If you stick to the red part you should have quite an easy time of it. So there are lots of these little paths going off, but we are going to carry on walking that away. And it just loops round and we'll join back up about there in about three miles time. And it's not just a boring walk, there is lots to look at. You may get the odd horse browsing through the heather. And there are plenty of benches to stop at if you need to sit down for five minutes. And also keep a lookout for these dark, creepy looking tree tunnels that are often branching out, pardon the pun, as you walk around. with your lunch? Uh, no. Suzanne makes a very good point, which is... Why hey? is it going on that one and not really on any of the others? It's going on this, two there, it's one of the mysteries of nature. Okay, so we've come up to a fork in the road. We can go. Right. This way takes us round another loop and back out this way 
that way takes us back around to where we came. So we are going to do the whole 3.3 miles and we are going to go the long way. So it's worth noting if you are thinking of coming here that this little extension of the walk is mud. It's not so that bad, no, but it's not. You can push a buggy along oh, here. Oh, it's not path. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, it's not really muddy and squelchy, but you couldn't um, you'd struggle with a buggy or a, a chair or something. Um, okay for mountain bikes and walking, but some of it is a bit a bit gravelly and a bit soft, especially this time of year. Quite right, honey. What did you say? Oh, okay. I'll get back. I'm tired. He's <laughs> up hill. So you do have to venture through a couple of gates and they are easy enough to get through. Just don't be surprised as you come out and you find yourself in more open land. Keeping your feelings bottled up inside Heading for a collision in the night To really live you gotta die Breathing, breathe out Hello. Hi. How is the walk going? It's good. It's easy enough. Yeah. Good work, good surface. It's got two couple of puddles here and there, but yeah, a bit uphill, a bit downhill. Yeah, uphill, a bit downhill, but it's good. Yeah, good things to look at. You sure you want to go through it? How bad is it? Oh, it's fine. Come on, honey. Yeah, no, but I can't. I haven't got two hands to keep my balance. Set. Celebration. Deep underneath all the layers of your doubts, there's a heart gone out of rhythm in despair. Hell underwater, fire for it. So coming back through this second gate is roughly halfway around the walk and you are now on the homeward section. The second part of the Wolverley enclosure for me anyway seemed a bit tougher than the first and it could be that we're getting tired but I also think there were a few more ups and downs on this part. There were still some really pretty passing trails to follow and there is always something to photograph. So I think we have a helicopter circling. Uh, let's hope they're not looking for some axe wielding maniac. The new, forest murderer. the new forest murderer that's come out to slash anyone he finds. So we've finished that little loop now and we are back out on the main path. On the main path, yep. How was that loop, honey? It's alright, uphill, but then. But it wasn't much of a downhill. It didn't feel it? like it, did it? No! Uphill, For some, I struggled. Somehow that. Sorry, hang on. Somehow that seemed to be all uphill, but. Yeah! I think maybe the uphills were steep and the downhill we didn't really notice, yeah, yeah. but definitely not for pushchairs at this time of year anyway. No. Not like the path we're on now. Autumn is definitely here. Yeah. Loads of fallen leaves. Oh. 
And I think we're looking forward to our lunch, aren't we, honey? Oh, I am starving. Absolutely <sighs> starving. I don't often say that, but I am starving. I'm looking forward to my lunch as well. So, not long. I think there's 10 minutes or so, and we should be back at the camper van. And I think we're going to look forward to our sit down. Yes. <sighs> we love that seat. We can yeah. resist it, honey. We can resist it. Yeah. Let's keep. Yeah, let's keep moving. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Back of the van. Yeah. My knees are aching a little bit, and I'm starving, hungry. Oh yeah, I'm hungry too. Really hungry. What's the time? Ten past one. Lunchtime? Bad. Yeah, lunchtime, definitely. Ham and cheese tasty. Never mind. Oh. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Suzanne has been... <laughs> Suzanne has volunteered to do lunch. When I say volunteered, she sat closest to the cooker. Cheese and ham toasty in the rich monkey. Oh. Cheese and ham toasty in the rich monkey. Camper van lunch of choice. Honey, you are having, I'm having a healthy salad wrap or something? I'm having a Warburton's, uh, what they call pocket pita. So to you. So it's a pita bread that's already sliced and then you stuff it with whatever you want to stuff it with. So it's got ham and salad. So we're cheating a little bit because we did prepare them at home, okay. um, but you know, what's that saying? Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Oh, god. oh my god, look, you're burning it already. Wow, well, you sent me off of oh. your videoing and you're talking. <sighs> we're lucky, we're lucky. Okay, we've had our lunch. We've had our lunch, we're all and squished in the front now. of the camper van. We are done. Our yep. walk, five, five K, it was over five K, wasn't it? Yeah, really good walk, recommend it, easy to do. Nice, wasn't it? And we are now heading for a coffee. We're going to stop at Beauty on the way home. Beauty, must get those little to warm me up. The little chocolate flakes you spoke about yeah, earlier. Yeah. And to warm me up. And to warm me up. So that's it. Thank you for watching our shenanigans, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. So you got your coffee? I'm happy. Good. Look to the feet. Real chocolate. chocolate. Real chocolate. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. You and I can wait.